You do not have as many options as you think you do. I'm so tired of hearing, oh my gosh, I got options, point blah. Where? Oh, you mean the thirsties in your DM? Or did you mean the hooligans who can't call you every morning across the street? Now think about it, really think about it. How many of your so-called options would you consider to be quality individuals? How many of your so-called options would take the time to get to know you on a deeper level outside of physical intimacy to build a foundation that stands the test of time? How many of your so-called options are going to be there for you when you fall on hard times or need a word of encouragement? It seems like we've become so grandiose in our thinking, thinking that we can pull any man we desire, when we desire, and how we desire, and that couldn't be further from the truth. This your fourth baby daddy, but you got options. This your fifth failed relationship, but you got options. Do y'all not see the quality of said options? Oh, well, girl, I don't want that guy anyway because he's not my type. Not your type. Sweetie, you don't have a type. A lot of us are lucky a man is even to look our way. Being willing to step in and raise some kids that aren't biologically his. Being willing to look past your health issues and borderline obesity. Being willing to look past your body count. And no one is saying settle, but we need to be more realistic when it comes to choosing a significant other. You want a six foot physically fit man, but you in the worst shape of your life. The only thing you work out is your mouth. You want a man with no kids so he can help take care of yours. Like, the math ain't mathin'. Don't let the media fool you into thinking that you got all these options and all the time in the world to settle down. Use this time to build yourself up for an upright man. She said you don't have as many options as you think you do. Well, I can't speak for all. Actually, I can not speak for any. None. Um, she went in. <laughs> she went hella in. Um, I guess she basically was speaking from a standpoint that people, when they're ready to step or when they're ready to flex themselves and talk, they jump. They say, well, whatever, I got option. Basically saying that, look, I got a whole pool full of, full of options and um, you're just another number. The whole point of the matter, you know, at the end of the day, they still got option. Whether it's bad or good, whether it's good quality or bad quality. Um, the way she worded it, was more so like, all right, you may have options, but you don't have them like you think you do because how many of those people are actually of quality? Because if they were, you wouldn't be worried about those options. That's how I took that. And that could be true because at the end of the day, man, uh, you can have a bunch of options out here and still be fed up. You can still be fed up. Like I say, when someone says that they have option, all I see is them just trying to flex. That's all I see. I don't see anything else past that. They're just trying to flex their muscles on you and basically try to make you feel that you can be replaced. And again, you're just another number. But other than that, I didn't see anything wrong with what she said. It just is what it is. You heard, you heard, you heard, you heard what the sister said. <laughs> That's all what it is. So, what y'all think about this right here?